Jimena, I have to know, what did it feel like when, you know, your script was selected for GLAAD's, you know, list in 2019? Yeah, um, it, was, it was a really crazy feeling. It was in between, like, this anxiety of, like, oh, my God, like, I wrote something that could actually become a movie. And, like, the, the pride in that, no? Like, it went from something that I wrote mainly to just, like, for myself to something yeah. that could actually happen to actually be, be something. It's a crazy deal. What was the inspiration behind when you put the pen to the pad or sat behind your laptop and began cranking this, this story out? What was the inspiration behind that? Um, I think I was, like, for the first time considering a uh, transition for myself, like, thinking about my identity. And I was, like, desperately looking for stories that captured trans joy. You know, like, I was afraid that yeah. if I took that step, I was going to have a bad time or, like, have a hard life, have, like, a tragic... Yeah. Things that, like I, I got inspiration from the internet, like just things that I observed uh, in like the kids today is like mm -hmm. trans people living their life and like being joyful and falling in love and I just really needed to to get that on paper. Yes. And, uh, what do you want audiences to take away with them when the when the credits roll and the film is over? How do you want audiences to feel? What do you want them to take away? Um, I think like specifically for the trans audience, I want to to remind them that no, like you can be trans and and be deeply loved, be profoundly loved, have a have a good time, yeah. like be content, be happy with your life. And like for the general audience, the simple like you don't have to be trans, like any kind of difference that you have or any way you don't fit in like yeah. you're still capable of, of being loved and and like having the life you you envision for yourself yeah and were you involved in the process of actually making the film in, in Pittsburgh um, I was there for a couple of days kind of on call kind of like fixing what was that like script it was crazy it was crazy kind of like just stepping into my own imagination yeah. and seeing all these people like working like having jobs because of like this idea that yeah. I had it's um, it's wild. Well, I can't wait to see what you do next, what you give us next, because this film is such a gift, and I think everyone's really going to enjoy it. I did. I saw it a few months ago. Really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for writing this script and, and getting the ball rolling on this. So, Billy, I have to know, what does it feel like to be here? This is the premiere. It's at Outfest Los Angeles. It's the premiere of your directorial debut, Anything's Possible. How are you feeling? Um, redeemed. Mm. It's a beautiful feeling to know that, you know, in the midst of the storm, and a lot of it was storm, mm -hmm. I chose myself. Mm -hmm. I had the audacity to choose myself at a time when, you know, being black and queer was not the norm. It was not the thing. And so to have it play out all these years later, all these decades later, you know, everybody told me my queerness would be my liability. Haters and allies alike. And it was for decades until it wasn't. I'm redeemed. I love that, love that. Vind totally vindicated and yeah. redeemed. So you're receiving an award tonight, the Outfest Annual Achievement Award, and you're performing. What does that feel like? You're getting more roses. <laughs> you're getting more roses tonight. I mean, they're it's, so deserving. Though. You're sweet. It's too much to sort of take in. I'm just trying to be present in the moment. I'm trying to um, lean into the joy. And, you know, if I think about it too much, I'll get in my head. So. <laughs> Final question, when people get up, when the credits roll, what do you want people to feel from Anything's Possible? Because it tells a very specific love story, but it's also a very everyday love story. Yeah. So how do you want audiences to, to feel, or what do you want them to take away from with well, it? Well, first of all, love is love. Um, everybody's humanity is important. Mm -hmm. And LGBTQ plus people have joy. Yeah. All right, Eva. Here we are, the premiere of Anything's Possible at Outfest Los Angeles. How does it feel? You're the lead actress, the star. I've been calling you the belle of the ball, okay? Walk me through what you're feeling right now. I'm feeling a little bit of anxiousness, um, uh, but mostly I just feel so full of gratitude. Yeah. Yeah, really? I love yeah. that. So tell people what to expect from your character, Kelsa, because Kelsa's pretty complex. Oh, yeah. And she is the center point of the film. She is the reason that we're tuning in. Mm -hmm. What can we expect? Kelsa is a fearless girl, but also someone who's 
you know, still kind of figuring out how to navigate life, you know? I mean, Kelsa is very, uh, she is very affirmed as a young black girl in this world, as a young black trans girl. But, you know, I mean, she's still a teen, you know? Like, she's still learning, like, what it looks like to date, what it looks like to, like, figure out what college you want to go to, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but Kelsa has such a strong aura to her. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, everyone who meets her starts to have a little bit of that too. Yeah. yeah. So how much of your own lived experience informed the way in which you approached this role? Yeah, you know, um, growing up, I honestly wanted to be just like Kelsa. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be on YouTube making videos. <laughs> My mom said no, um, you know? Uh, so, you know, there's like, you know, like there's like this scene where Kelsa and her mother talk about that. Mm -hmm. That is very, very true to life. Um, and also, I mean, you know, Kelsa's this girl who like loves fashion, mm -hmm. who loves animals. Um, that's also true for me. Um, Kelsa definitely is more of a science nerd than I ever was. You know, that wasn't that wasn't really my strong suit growing up. Um, more of a word. Yes. 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 Okay. Words. Yeah. Words. Same. Same. <laughs> yeah. You know, and also, you know, we're like both from these like smaller cities in the you know in like the middle of the young country. So yeah, there was like a lot for me to draw on. Also, a lot for me to learn from playing Kelsa. Just learning to be fearless. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like on set? You know, this is Billy Porter's directorial debut. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, she's winning an award tonight. Yes. <laughs> so what was it like being on set with such a powerhouse? It was pretty lit, you know? Billy really brings the energy every single day. But also, he is watching everything, and he is, you know, so keen to make sure that everyone feels seen yeah. and heard. So yeah, I just felt really, really honored to work with him. So Billy is receiving the Annual Achievement Award here at OutFest Los Angeles tonight. So I'm, I'm curious to know, as someone who worked with Billy firsthand, how inspiring is that? I think, you know, Billy is so, so deserving of this honor. He has really made waves for so, for so, so many people going really back to like, the like 90s right yeah. you know I mean Billy has really been putting in the work um, and you know Billy's work which I mean really I mean he's kind of just now getting started yeah. but you know I think that his life is a testament to what's possible yeah I love that. Ooh, a testament to what's possible <laughs> yeah. anything's possible right anything's possible period so you have to know, what does the title, Anything's Possible, and I know that it might be seem like a simpleton question, but it, it has some depth to it. What does it mean to you? It means that there's no, that there's no limit, you know? That people, we don't, like, we don't exist in some sort of, like, monolith, you know? Like, you, I mean, you know, you, like, can go after anything that you want to do. You can love who you want to love. You can be who you want to be. Um, and yeah, I mean, this all might sound corny to some people, yeah. I'm sure, but there's just so much truth in that, yeah. And you were, because you were just an editor and now you're uh, the lead actress at her own premiere tonight. So anything <laughs> really is possible, speak to that. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, like I was working as a um, journalist um, and taking, uh, you know, like I was taking, acting classes whenever I possibly could, mm -hmm. um, you know? And I mean, there were, you know, like, there were lots of people who were like, I don't know why you're wasting your time. You're not gonna make it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her now, folks. Look at her now. Yeah. <laughs> Final question, when audiences, you know, when the credits roll, what do you want people to feel? And you can give me one word or you can give me a full answer, but what do you want people to feel because this film is so complex. It's so much more than a rom-com. It's a oh, rom-com, yeah. but it's so much more. It's gonna stir up a lot of conversation. I want everyone to feel inspired, you know? Um, that's, I mean, that's definitely how I felt when I walked away from shooting this. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I, I just hope that everyone, whether you're cis, trans, white, black, Iranian, Latinx, whatever, I hope that everyone feels 
um, a sense of joy, and a sense of hope for the future. So I'm here with Justin Tranter. Yes. And Shia Diamond. Shia, you are on the soundtrack, and Justin, you produced it, correct? Yeah, I executive produced the soundtrack with Billy. Okay. Yeah, Billy was very involved in the music as well, and to create songs to elevate and amplify uh, these, this really beautiful, charming love story was such a dream come true. Yeah, so what was that process like? Because I know that you're performing tonight. Yes. Right, so so what was the process of even making the music like? And I, I want to know from you, what is the song like? So I'm going to start with Justin, then I'm going to swing to you, Shia. So the process was Billy, whenever he was in L.A., um, showing me the latest cut of the movie and like, we need a song in this scene. What, is, what should it feel like? What does it sound like? We need a song in this scene. And she's going through this, so we want the song to reflect that. And so okay. it's really just talking with Billy and watching the movie over and over to really craft um, these five original songs. And then we also um, curated some other songs that mm -hmm. would fit some of the scenes. And I said to Billy, I love doing this, but Shia Diamond has got to be on the album. And Billy know, knows Shia and is a fan, so he was like, of course, where the fuck is she? Get her over here. <laughs> so uh, we put Shia on the end title song. We created it with Shia and Billy to have this magical moment where they sing their goddamn yes. faces off to end this with an empowering, inspiring message. So perhaps the, my favorite thing that I heard you say is that you all kind of built this from the ground up, which we don't really hear from films nowadays like you all really built the soundtrack from scratch based off of scenes yeah. versus having the music already created and then assigning it to a scene exactly. love that shia what is it i mean listen you got so many different songs i've seen you perform 50 million times okay you got different genres different moods what can i expect from this soundtrack um, you can expect absolute magic, absolute uh, positivity, absolute in inspiration. Um, this is our story on the big screen, yeah. so this is a momentous moment for, for our community. And um, to, to give another star to another star, you know, is absolutely incredible. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hoping for the best for this and yeah. hope it gets attention and um, just the, I the guess, love the, it the love it deserves. The love yeah, it deserves. yeah. I, I have to know, what was it like working with, you know, Billy Porter, who's a titan in his own right? Like, award-winning, history-making. Okay, what was it like working with Billy Porter? Well, um, it's a funny story. Um, Billy um, and I were getting an award uh, together, and um, we just had a moment. And so, you know, we were hugging or whatever, and Billy just like whispered in my ear, he's like, we're gonna work together. And you know, you hear that all the time. All the time. Girl. You already know what it is. And so I, 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 I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and um, so uh, Billy uh, reached out to me, uh, uh, you know, by text and was like, you know, I this, you know, I want to work with you. This is what's happening, and don't ever doubt me again. Like when I say something, that's what it is. And so I know Billy for this person that is of action, this is of, of good intention, keeps and word. keeps his word, which is so rare here in Hollywood. And he's an amazing person. Um, outside of the talent, outside of the accolades, he's actually an amazing human being. That's fun. That's you know, caring and thoughtful and all those, all, all those great things. And um, I'm just excited just to be on stage alongside him, you know, his energy, you know, his performance style and everything. So I'm just like super nervous, but super hyped at the same time. Hey everybody, you can watch Anything's Possible on Amazon Prime Video on July 22nd. Check it out.